Alright guys, welcome back to some more end roll. I took a little break, but in the last episode we fought a giant cake, which was symbolism for Gardni Ganina's dad. <laughs> Still weird trying to say the, the name of that dad, but we're getting the fuck out of here, because we got the, uh, the frying pan. Which, can I actually equip it to her? Yes, I can. Did you get anything different? What about you? No, a musket. I could buy weapons, couldn't I? How many walnuts do I have? I have 44. I might as well take advantage. I can get defense, though, actually. So let's see here. Why not? Uh... It'll release your inner mind. No, I want defense. I'll take one of those. One of those. And I'll equip it to them after I equip, get some new weapons, maybe. Possibly. What is that? Oh. What to do for dinner tonight? I could make minus roan with healthy carrots. Ah, oh, Russell, hello. Do you need something from the field, too? I guess this field is a commons for the townspeople. Everyone help. Everyone's help in growing these vegetables uh, must give them their sheen. They're nutritious and delicious. And there's one, one was taken already. I guess I can't take one. Everybody works so hard to grow them. I'm home. And your double went away. <laughs> thank you today, Russell. I found something great thanks to you. Just as a way of saying thanks, you should eat dinner here tonight. I'll make the best meal I can. Not to brag, but cooking skills is the my cooking skills is the real deal. Just an, just the other day, my dad, my dad, uh, just a moment. I'll 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 make it really quick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So did Russell kill everyone? Everyone he knew. Why would you do such a thing? Dad is crying. Everything is upside down. I can't stand it anymore. I can't breathe. Happy birthday to you. It's fucked up, Russell. Jeez, Russell, you're okay? Are you tired or something? Is Russell actually feeling guilt? Or is he a lunatic like this game is keep like the characters in this game keep calling him? Maybe I pushed you too much. I just made this. Do you feel like eating? See, no, it's okay. You can take this home with you. I'll wrap it up, okay? I got a meat pie. Thank you. Sorry for pushing you. Are you mad? I'm not mad. Dad's out on business. What about it? And the reason, C, is my dad is a world-class three-star cook. Very famous. Very in demand. Which is why he's always busy. And I can't usually meet him except on my birthday. Okay, then. Hmm. So that was the end of today, right? Kind of a chill running down my spine. Should I go inside? Let's save first, since we can only save out here. Alright, what do we got going on in here now? The drawing of a frying pan. I was invited to a classmate's birthday party. It wasn't like we were friendly. It was the whole class that was invited to the party, not just me. Her family was rich, and her dad made many, many incredible meals for her. He made the birthday cake, too. Suddenly, I remembered something. I remember today was my birthday, too. Of course, no one knew that, so no one was celebrating me. During the party, I saw that blessed girl alone on the staircase landing. I approached her from behind. Could this blessed angel fly? I pushed her forcibly in the back. Her body tumbled down the stairs, and she went squish like a cake. Happy birthday to me. That's fucked up, bro. Well, 
Well then. This doesn't change though. So I'm gonna try not I'm gonna try to remember not to interact with that. Oh boy. Russell wished me a happy birthday. Oh. Did I just take damage? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. This whole place is wrecked. It's like he's... he's <laughs> it's like he's getting a taste of what hell will be like with these injections. I'm falling down the stairs. <laughs> Good morning. How was day two of your happy dream? Now, today I must educate you on how to proceed in this experiment. Listen closely. The contents of the happy dream will vary greatly depending on your mental health or state. Specifically, your level of guilt. And the more intimately you come to know your happy dream, the more you love that world, the more your guilt will increase. For that reason, your own curiosity must be valued above all else. Visit all kinds of places, meet various people, and experience many things. Those are the keys to succeeding in this experiment. That That's all for now, so let's happy dream. You piece of shit. All right, we can, is that a popped balloon? It is. Was that there before? Hey, cool, you got a horse? My mayor was asking about you. I think it's at your ID card, buddy. With an ID card, I'd be able to travel to other towns. Okay, well, I know where the entrance is. What house was the mayor's house again? Oh yeah, Mr. Saxton is the mayor. Good morning. I was just looking for you. I have something for you. It's a bit late, but your ID card is finally ready, so go on and take it. With that, you'll be able to enter town, so take a look around. But I won't... Uh, it won't be reissued to you. Make sure you keep it safe. Don't lose it. Okay. Thanks. Let's go to the information place, though, just to see if there are any other like little side quests. What you got? About the birthday cake. What should I do next? Uh, today will greatly involve Cody. Some trouble is afoot at the church. Also, uh, you already got your ID. You already got your ID. Take the opportunity to look at the other towns. Everything that exists in the world is a fragment of your mind. Uh, Tavaska is concerned about something. As you have time with him, see what's up. Oh, wow. Seems to have opened a happy dream branch. It's in the dozing forest. There's a lot to do. Okay. Oh, he already left, huh? Wait, is there something wrong with my mailbox? Oh, it's corroded with black. I'll worry about that later. I wonder what I should bring for this. Probably a banana, right? Oh, I didn't, I didn't see you there. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> Good luck with that. So I have an option to be like a dick to everybody. <laughs> it's about that weird monster we saw in the dozing forest. It did attack us, but with how harsh I was on it, I kind of feel, I feel kind of restless at night. Maybe it's just, I'd just be on my, for my own satisfaction, but I'm thinking of making a grave or something. And like, when you make a grave, you need an offering, right? But I'm stuck on what I, I'm stuck on what to go with. I like to get some great flowers, but there's nothing like that around. What should I do? In this world, there are plenty of places where events will occur if certain members are in the party. Complete a sub-event, you may learn new skills or get items. However, many uh, sub-events are available within a brief time frame, so act fast. Of course, I could ignore them. I definitely could. Hmm. But yeah, apparently I'm supposed to go see the man at the church. I like how little vegetables are being picked as time goes on. 
the world changes ever so slightly. Like my mailbox. Are you mad? Is everything all right? Oh. Now I've done it. <laughs> what should I do if Dogma finds out about this? What are you looking at? What are you, what are you watching? I was trying to clean the statue and my hand slipped. If my brother finds out, he's absolutely going to kill me. He really, really values this. Today, he's, uh, he's out today. I need to do something fast. Lend me your wisdom. What should I do? Well, I mean, this whole thing should be about forgiveness, so... And not about material things. So, yeah. I'm sure he'll be really mad, but... Trust me, he won't, like... He'll be fine. Let's make haste. I need to find Dogma and apologize to him ASAP. Since you are watching, I'm gonna have to help too. Got it? Okay. Join Cody. He'll be okay, I mean... But yeah, it's best to soften the blow and let him know right now. So, I guess we're gonna go in the... What's this? Huh. Thought maybe that was different somehow. The fuck? What's this? <laughs> uh, Ray, is it true you've been overcharging customers again? You know that's not good. Did you forget how the higher uppers got angry with you before? Don't side eye me like that, partner. If you, if you, they, if they don't haggle me down, why not sell at an asking price? Yeah, but still, no good. If customers stop trusting you, they'll stop buying goods too. Man, you're strict. <laughs> Not like that's illegal or anything. Oh, hello. It's my good buddy. <laughs> my good buddy, even though I never bought a thing from him. This is the Dreams uh, Send Trade Corporation HD branch, a store available only to users of Happy Dream. Here, we sell things that cannot be bought at normal shops. Not really much of a promoter, huh? This is, this is when you seal the deal. You gotta try harder than that. I didn't think you'd be coming here. I'm... I'm generally a peddler, so I'm out of work now. But enjoy yourself here, I guess. We've got stuff in stock all the time. Thank you for your patronage. What you got? Ray is rather greedy. If you buy at the price uh, he first tells you, it's a slight loss. <laughs> I guess you're not selling anything. <laughs> I was trying to actually see if you can buy if I could buy something. What's up with this place? M&M's? I bought a Super Bowl. That the regular price, too. I guess this is... Okay. That's kind of cool. There, we're gonna go to the other town. Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, it's you. Odd place for us to meet. Another date as yesterday and with a different girl. Full of surprises. Ensure things do not get messy. You must watch your back if you play with women's hearts. Hmm. Do you sell... Do you sell the same things? I can buy you... This, though. I guess I'll do that. Why not? So C Cody's like a fighter? Wait, what? Oh, the ornament. Gotcha. Thought you were, thought I was buying weapons. All right, so I guess they sensed that I had an ID, <laughs> so they just moved the fuck out of the way. Oh my god, they're so cute. Our precious steps, you klutz, you blockhead. What if the cops find out? Was, was out that stuff? <laughs> fuck us up with this. Eh? You got business with this, meh? Ask what's up. See, me and him, we dropped uh, a little something in the cave here. We'd go and get it, but my pal's going through some uh, some withdrawals. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you with your drugs. But would Russell do that? Stuff's in a white paper bag. Don't dare look inside, though. I guess we have no choice. Any gift boxes? No. Okay. Weird-ass game. 
Uh, we will go with you. Because you're cool. Is everyone all healed up? Yep, they are. I guess we're gonna go get some drugs. Nyeh? Yeah? <laughs> are you human? How'd you get in here? Oh, well. If you're here, you must uh, want to buy catnip. Sure. Another dungeon. What's in here? Oh, it's a rest area. Keep that in mind. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Oh. Oh, never mind. I can't buy stuff. 20 walnuts. Uh, cures the element, refreshing. Now, I only have two of these, but I want to grab one more, just in case. One of those. As many of these as I can buy. There we go. Thank you, Dragon Man. <laughs> I like being stocked on items. It makes me feel good. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's explore this one room first before anything. Brain running bug? Hopefully they're not that strong. And hopefully we're stronger. I don't even care what that read. I like how she has like a bow and arrow. Cody's defense went down, but it doesn't matter. You just wasted your turn against three other people. That went well. What you doing, Nya? Yeah. You probably already noticed, but we do catnip deals here. For catty, catnip is an illegal substance, like what human called drugs. Hey, miss, you want to buy some catnip? It's only caddies who get put in a trance by catnip. Harm? No. I can't even buy it. Hmm. I have seven walnuts, actually. I just picked up some, so you know what? That's fine. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me. Uh, I didn't think that... For some reason, I didn't think that yes would be on the bottom. Okay, that might come in handy. Maybe one won't move out of the way, maybe. Weird-ass bugs. That's great. There we go. Dealing with ads and dealing with all these random... Flame bullet! I'm not really using the skills that much, though. Probably should. What the f- Hello. <laughs> Raymond. An iron pole. I don't have 20. Just two? Maybe later. Turnip salad. The salad that definitely won't go bad. What the fuck is that? It's a psychedelic. Nice. Everybody's just dropping walnuts. Alright, uh... Yeah, we can explore up here and then this room will be cleared. What is this? Selling dungeon info. Let's try it. Monsters around here, they appear to be non elemental magic physical attacks, fairly effective. Uh, there does appear to be an enemy that you could put to sleep, but don't worry about it. One of the monsters will grow when. Oh. Just beat it quickly. Just beat everything to death. It's that simple. Don't overthink it. 
That's what I get from that suggestion. It's the nose advice. Found a weak spot. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, we make catnip. We sell it. <laughs> Any buyers die, we'll wash our hands of the whole thing. Wow, they're really tough cats. Can't let outsiders go. Make like a human and get back home to eat some tasty snacks and warm food. Alright, beat it. Yeah, you're a smart kid, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on through. <laughs> Am I already gonna fight the boss? <laughs> this area not as big as I thought. Oh god, I thought that was a noose for a second. You're right? Meh? You're a human, huh? How'd you get in here? Guess I'm gonna have to ask, probably involve catnip, huh? Share that shit. Oh, it's a stone compass? I thought it was a mouse. Uh, compass is beautiful. Use it? Next door. Right of your own house inside a familiar game console. The game you used to play. It's there in the slot, so give it a try. Be off to the ruins of the wise one. I unlock something. Excuse me for saving every two seconds, but I can't help it. Hello! Eh? Where is he? Even <laughs> up here. This is Cloak Point, the village of us caddies. Take it easy. Ever seen, uh... Ever since that catnip stuff came into Cloak Point, too, I've gotten real dangerous here. And it was the white cats like me who introduced it. How shameful. I don't know, everybody seems to be having a good time. Drugs are bad, though. A village of cats. I want that extra dough, though. What's going on in this town? So exhausted, an old cat like me can't take the heavy labor. I don't know, you're a pretty burly cat. Now you're getting old. If you visit the cl clinic, I bet you get prescribed a good remedy. I'm too busy ahead to a place someplace. What am I gonna do? He wants a remedy, huh? <laughs> we got pretty good bad, bad at dispositions. Nocturnalism clock point turns to a pretty dangerous place at night. Look at that evil face on you. Wonder if things are going well for my pals uh, doing a deal at the Seaside Relieving Hotel. The hell? Don't use dropping people talking to themselves. What are you doing hanging out in this cluttered room? No good at all. This right, it would be an extinction of all the caddies. What's wrong? You're probably aware, but there's a drug called catnip. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, it was my way of getting here. You see what it what it does? Everybody's jacked up. There's more and more who just won't do any work. That's why this place is a shithole. Rumor is that it it has to be awakening pills used by humans. Wait, rumor has it that the awakening pills used by humans can even work on sauced cats, cat caddies. Don't know if we'll fully uh, get them back to normal, but there's a chance of bringing us caddies back. Could you bring some in? Could you bring me 30 of them? Of course I'll repay you. I thought maybe you could open that. A lot of side quests everywhere. <laughs> oh boy. I just know the balloon means that there's a battle right next to it. Sorry to bother you, do you have... Do you know of a flower called the Yamabasho? No. It's in Dragon's Peak? Oh, I sure you want the hallucinetic effect. You want something stronger than catnip. <laughs> wow. Wow. What's this? A suspicious white bag. What's in the white bag? Uh, it's plain chestnut flour. Yeah. <laughs> this music does sound like a cat town music. Oh, there's someone hiding back here. This is good catnip. <laughs> oh, man. That slacker, where did he get to now? When he gets back, I'll show him. <laughs> He's right here, bro. 
What a funny area. But yeah, it looks like there's a battle up here. Welcome, welcome. This is this is only you theater. Here we can watch movies with someone alone with someone special. Currently showing a horror style romance flick called the Ice Screamer. If you want to watch, enter the theater to the right together with someone. I have three people on me though. Okay, well I only have one girl. Actually, I kind of want to bring Cody. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dismiss helper members. Yeah. Return. Hey. Ah, I'm so bored. We're showing Ice Screamer. It's free. Go on ahead. We'll see how this goes. Ah, oh, it's about to start. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing here? <laughs> I heard rumors that this movie is not great. Excuse me, detective, do you like ice cream? I'm very skilled at making ice cream. Especially with the red iron flavor. <laughs> he made me a promise that he would love only me, and certainly he should have done so. So he had to keep his promise. Don't you think, detective? Long ellipses. The woman, driven mad by her husband's tangled relationship with a mistress, made ice cream from her husband's blood and offered it to his mistress. Kind of grotesque movie. I wonder if it's okay that it doesn't have a rating. It's not. <laughs> How'd you like it? Yeah, it was uh, awfully distant from reality. Kind of interesting, though. I mean, the husband was cheating. People should just stick to one thing, don't you think? I think so, too. If I had a lover, I want them to think wholeheartedly about me. And of course, if I found someone I really liked, I would never cheat on them. No plans for the moment, but if there's someone, yeah, someday, I hope. Okay, let's get going. She is still with me, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't get anything from that. Anyway. I didn't know you could actually get four people to join your party. I had no clue. Well, now I know. Alright, so there's a bunch of side quests in this town. That was kind of funny. Alright, so we're going to take a rest here. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop here for now. Um, yeah, that was weird. But, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next part. Peace out.